The public is weighing in on controversial state scholarship programs, the one that's costing Maine millions of dollars. Now, last week, a CBS 13 Waste Watch investigation first reported the concerns with the Competitive Skills Scholarship Program after we found that program delivering some disappointing results. CBS 13's John Crisos is in Augusta, where changes to the program are now being considered. The program has cost the state more than six and a half million dollars, but those who run it are disappointed with the high dropout rate and now want to make some sweeping changes. I'm going to pray that they consider the rule changes because I want to be a graduate of the University of Maine come the year of 2014. Susan Alexa has Thank been part of the much, state's Susan. competitive skills scholarship program since 2009. She wanted to go back to school after she got laid off, but needed some extra support and services. Being an individual who's in her 50s and being laid off um, is a frightening thing, to say the least. The state scholarship program helps pick up the tab for tuition, child care, a computer, internet, eye and dental care, and even transportation. And without this program, I don't know how I would be able to maintain um, this program financially or even educationally. Susan has just two semesters left and is one of the program's success stories. But documents from the Department of Labor show 42 percent of the program's participants drop out. The goals of the program are not being fully met because of the high um, non-completion rate. So the Department of Labor wants to make some big changes, and that's what this public hearing is all about, a panel listening to comments about proposed changes. The proposed rules seem to undermine the program in a way that will hurt workers and their ability to uh, get the training they need for a better economic life. As our Waste Watch investigation first reported last week, the new rules would cut the time it gives students to finish a four-year degree from eight years down to five years. That life gets in the way, and instead of taking a hiatus and coming back, they take a hiatus and never come back and never complete. It would also reduce coverage for support services like child care, car repairs, internet bills, and eye and dental care. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that we can get as many people completing the program so that they get a degree and can get those high demand, uh, high wage jobs. If you missed today's public hearing but still want to weigh in, the department will now be taking written comments until December 16th. We'll let you know what happens and when enrollment opens back up. In Augusta, John Crisos, CBS 13 News. You can read all the proposed changes on our website, WGME.com.